Green Lantern Movie Review Ryan Reynolds is the Green Lantern in an insipid 3D extravaganza, by Peter Bradshaw. Ryan Reynolds nails down his Alista status with a big superhero role. He is the Green Lantern in this big, baggy, flavorless 3D extravaganza in which his superheroic powers are explained with a long and tiring mythic prelude on a planet far, far away. Reynolds plays Hull Jordan, a test pilot and all-around hunky hothead, who discovers a green ring from another world, which gives him superpowers and a green costume, and also membership of an intergalactic green force that fights evil wherever it may be. Peter Sarsgaard plays Hector Hammond, a scientist who goes over to the dark side, having ingested alien spores that make him look like the Elephant Man. This is sometimes engagingly daft, but it simply fails to spark, and Reynolds, so good in recent movies like Buried and the Nines, just looks like a slice of inert beefcake. Incidentally, he looks like taking over Matthew McConaughey's award as the actor most likely to get his shirt off. Though seemingly every Marvel character short of Howard the Duck and the Disco Dazzler is either a big screen franchise or in fast track development, DC Comics has lagged behind its longtime rival. Tentpole superheroes Batman and Superman remain the world's finest heroes, but hog all the action. Longtime DC fans have got used to slap in the face disappointments like Swamp Thing, Steel, Catwoman, Constantine, and Jonah Hex. Green Lantern is the first of DC's second-tier stars, a status not to be ashamed of. Since being on the run below pop culture icons Bats and Supes still means looking down on Johnny come lateless like Spider-Man and Wolverine. To benefit from the major summer movie mounting which has made hits of Iron Man and Thor and established an ongoing Marvel film universe. Green Lantern is a 2011 American superhero film based on the DC Comics character of the same name. The film stars Ryan Reynolds, Blake Lively, Peter Sarsgaard, Mark Strong, Angela Bassett, and Tim Robbins, with Martin Campbell directing a script by Greg Berlanti and comic book writers Michael Green and Mark Guggenheim, which was subsequently rewritten by Michael Goldenberg. This was the first DC film since Catwoman not to be involved with legendary pictures. The film tells the story of Hal Jordan, a test pilot who was selected to become the first human member of an intergalactic police force called the Green Lantern Corps. Hal is given a ring that grants him superpowers, and must confront Parallax, who threatens to upset the balance of power in the universe. The film first entered development in 1997, progress remained stalled until Greg Berlanti was hired to write and direct in October 2007. Martin Campbell was brought on board in February 2009 after Berlanti was forced to vacate the director's position. Most of the live-action actors were cast between July 2009 and February 2010, 
and filming took place from March to August 2010 in Louisiana. The film was converted to 3D during its post-production stage. Green Lantern was released on June 17, 2011, and received generally negative reviews, with people criticizing its poor writing, bad CGI and lack of faithfulness to the source material. The film underperformed at the box office, grossing $219 million against a production budget of $200 million. It was also originally intended to start a film franchise based on DC characters. However, due to the film's negative reception and disappointing box office performance, Warner Brothers scrapped plans for a sequel, opting instead to use Man of Steel as the official start of the DC Extended Universe, two years after Green Lantern's release. On Rotten Tomatoes, the film has an approval rating of 26% based on 241 reviews and an average rating of 4.70 out of 10. The site's critical consensus reads, noisy, overproduced, and thinly written, Green Lantern squanders an impressive budget and decades of comics mythology. On Metacritic, the film has a score of 39 out of 100 based on 39 critics, indicating generally unfavorable reviews. Now I'm explaining the movie plot. Billions of years ago, the Guardians of the Universe used the green essence of willpower to create an intergalactic police force called the Green Lantern Corps. They divide the universe into 3,600 sectors, with one Green Lantern per sector. One such Green Lantern, a being serve Sector 2814, defeats the malevolent being Parallax and imprisons him in the Lost Sector on the desolate planet Riot. In the present day, Parallax escapes from his prison after becoming strengthened by an encounter with crash survivors who had accidentally fallen into the dugout where Parallax was imprisoned on the abandoned planet. Parallax feeds on their fear to gain strength before pursuing and mortally wounding a bean sir, who escapes and crash lands on Earth where he commands his power ring to find a worthy successor. Jordan, a cocky test pilot working at Ferris Aircraft, is chosen by the ring and transported to the crash site, where the dying Abin Sir appoints him a green lantern, telling him to take the lantern and speak the oath. Jordan says the oath and is whisked away to the Green Lantern Corps home planet of OA, where he meets and trains with veteran Corps members Tomari, Kilowog, and Corps leader Sinestro, who believes he is unfit and fearful. Jordan, disheartened by his extreme training sessions and Sinestro's doubts, quits and returns to Earth, keeping the power ring and lantern. Scientist Hector Hammond is summoned by his father, Senator Robert Hammond, to a secret government facility to perform an autopsy on a Beanser's body under the watchful eye of Amanda Waller. A piece of parallax inside the corpse enters Hammond, giving him telepathic and telekinetic powers at the cost of his sanity. After discovering that he was chosen for the secret work only due to his father's influence and not for his own abilities, Hammond attempts to kill his father by telekinetically sabotaging his helicopter at a massive party with the use of Parallax's power. Jordan saves the senator and the party guests, including his childhood sweetheart Carol Ferris. Later, at the government facility, Hammond uses telekinesis to successfully kill his father by burning him alive. Hammond also elevates Walla high above the floor. As she's falling, Jordan arrives and saves the injured Walla by creating a pool of water which whisks her away out of further danger. During the encounter, 
Jordan learns of Parallax coming to Earth. On OA, the Guardians tell Sinestro that Parallax was one of their fellow Guardians who attempted to control the yellow essence of fear, only to become corrupted himself. Arguing that the way to fight fear is with fear itself, Sinestro requests that the Guardians forge a ring of the same yellow power, preparing to concede Earth's destruction to Parallax in order to protect OA. Jordan appears and tries to convince the Guardians that fear will turn the user's evil if its power is used, but they reject his pleas, and he returns to Earth to try to defeat Parallax on his own. Jordan saves Ferris from Hammond after a brief showdown. Parallax arrives, consumes Hammond's entire life force, and then wreaks havoc on Coast City. After a fierce battle, Jordan lures Parallax away from Earth and chases Jordan across the solar system. Parallax is inadvertently caught in the Alpha Centauri's gravitational pull and is destroyed, while Jordan escapes. Jordan loses consciousness after the battle and falls toward the star, but is saved by Sinestro, Kilowog, and Tomari. The entire Green Lantern Corps congratulates Jordan for his bravery. Sinestro tells Jordan he now bears the responsibility of protecting his sector as a Green Lantern. In a mid credit scene, Sinestro takes the yellow ring and places it on his finger, causing his green suit and eyes to turn yellow.